Once again, we're searching for the final velocities of each of the balls here. Uh, in this case, I used MA to represent the mass and velocity of the tennis ball, and MB to represent uh, the information for the unspecified other ball with which the tennis ball is colliding. Uh, so this time, we can't rule out or shorten the uh, full uh, conservation of momentum formula here, because since both of our velocities begin as non-zeros, we're going to have to use the entire thing. And thus can't cancel out any of these terms. Now, uh, first, we, to solve for VA prime, we're going to have to use this entire, for, this entire formula, of course, but we still have two unknowns, with that pesky VB prime still being in the way. So we're once again going to have to use uh, the theorem that VA minus VB equals VB minus VA, or rather, just in general, that the magnitude between the two velocities is not going to change after contact. So we're going to re you algebraically rewrite this formula, either whichever one you want. They're basically they're the same thing to solve for VB prime. So we have something to sub in there, which algebraically we can determine to be VB prime equals V A minus, uh, minus V B plus V A uh, you, you got him right in there V A prime which interestingly since we have well, since we have both V A and V B defined for us already, we can short we can uh, make the things a little easier on us by writing out the numbers based on what we know. So if we have uh, the velocity of the tennis ball minus the velocity of the second ball, we all we need to do to shorten that is 5.50 minus 3.00, which is just 2.5 meters per second, and then it's just after that the plus v a prime and this is all we need to sub in for this right for a uh, v b prime right here so i'm going to write or actually write that in that now it's 2.5 um plus v a prime multiplied by the v b or by the mb now um now that we have this, now we can solve for VA prime. With, uh, so now we have two of these. So now algebraically, uh, we can rewrite it. Once again, I'm not going to show the work because it does require quite a few steps. I'm sure you can figure it out on your own. But that's going to, uh, in simplest form, is going to be equal to MAVA plus MBB times and I'm using uh, parentheses here to make things a little simpler to read. Uh, the VB minus 250 over, uh, and here we're using a fraction, and all this is going to be over MA plus MB. And now all this is now equal to our VA prime. And all of these values here are all ve uh, variables that we al for which we already have the numbers. So plugging these into your calculator for VA prime, you should get 2.50 meters per second for the speed. And now for VB prime, which is still the other thing we need to find, uh, so we already have a formula for that right here. So just all you need to do is add 2.5 meters per second plus what we just calculated for VA a prime, and that uh, should pretty clearly get you 5.00 meters per second for speed. Uh, the question, however, is also asking for the direction of each ball in motion. So looking back at the question, these balls are both moving in the same direction initially. So their final direction are not going to change, and thus we don't need to write any of these as a negative. Uh, so to write this, I'm just going to say that they both uh, are 
both of these velo uh, speeds are traveling in their initial directions. And that is our full answer. Though you might also want to specify, though, which ball to which each of these speeds refer. I have that set for VA, but the, remember, the question doesn't explicitly refer to either of these balls as VA or VB. So somewhere in this answer, you'd need to include a let statement indicating that, such as what I wrote up here, indicating what the speeds are, or what, what, which masses the balls represent.